probably my favorite memory of Costa Rica is uh, when I went on the school trip initially, before I started doing my research, and we got to visit the TCU field station. And you have to go over kind of a hill before you go down into the valley where the station is. And I just remember pulling over that hill and seeing it, and it's just, just spread out in that valley and the clouds on the river. And it, 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 was, it was really just one of the most amazing things I've ever seen in my life. And I, I still remember just driving in and seeing the field station for the first time and being like, wow, this is, this is unbelievable. Well, Costa Rica is unique in many ways. One is, uh, it is a country that is tremendously stable. Um, it's very, very safe, but, and it has a terrific infrastructure. Um, but it is also struggling, as many countries are in the tropics, with uh, pretty rapid development. But that aside, it's also uh, a country that has an enormous uh, diversity of, of uh, species. So a very, very small country. Uh, contains somewhere between 5 to 10 percent of all the, the known species in the world. So it's extremely rich biologically and ecologically. The use of the station is, is not just a base for graduate students to do their research, but we want to roll out a set of courses where we can take students for spring break, mini semesters, uh, and even have you know, a four to six week field camp for environmental sciences. My name is Abby Schlipman. I'm a graduate student in the Environmental Science Department doing my thesis research at the research station in Costa Rica. I am basically researching baseline data of the stream systems within the research station property, uh, putting up two monitoring stations along two different streams. My goals with this research is simply put to benefit future students who are going to be doing their research on the station. There's so much to be learned from this property. And when we start sending students down there, we're going to start to impact the streams on the property. And I would like to provide this baseline data so that the future students can monitor how they're impacting the local stream systems. The research is not uh, just a whole set of independent projects that are not connected. We are developing a five-year research plan so that when groups of students go down, um, the work that they're doing there slots into a broader set of research questions. I was walking to lunch one day with my friend Morgan and in the front yard is a six foot boa constrictor and <laughs> instead of being frightened I was enthralled and I walked right up to it and it was just incredible and even the littlest things are interesting like the the ants <laughs> the ants are interesting here you don't think twice about them but there you really stop and look at you know, all the little um, organisms and interactions between them, it's fascinating.